One down. Yeah! Oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Oh, I gotta get to cleaning this shop up. We've been buddy hunting for, I don't know, a month now since the season's been over, and woo, she's become quite the mess. But we gotta grab the side-by-side -side today because today is the last day. Okay. <laughs> Tire's still up, good deal. Today's the last day of uh, crow hunting season. Yeah, your boy has not done it one time. <clears throat> and y'all have been requesting it a ton. Now, today's plan is to uh, load up the decoys in the back of the uh, old razor. And we're gonna head way out back, way back in the backyard. There's been a lot of crows flying. Every day I've been scouting in the backyard, going back there and watching and there's quite a few surprisingly i mean right here it's always a fly line over my house those of you that watched the videos last year same deal hopefully we can shoot something hopefully we can shoot a bunch but hopefully we can just shoot something today looking for some luck today looking for some luck don't know if it'll happen uh but we're gonna try it is uh it's gonna be 80 degrees today 80 degrees and right now it's like 35 mile an hour winds out of the south. So long story short, we are going to sit inside of an evergreen looking north. So the wind is to our back. Put the decoys and the e-collar out in front of us. It's gonna get windy y'all. And cross our fingers and hope that it works. Anything in here? Oh boy, we cleaned her out this season. Whew. Well, Freddy, you ready to go? Huh? There he is. I'm ready too. We're gonna try her. Gotta go in here, got to grab the old e collar. <sighs> Every time, it never fails. Fred and I, I forgot my gun. I had to go back to the lodge and get it in the side by side. Got halfway out here and a crow is right over the spread. I already have the whole spread set up and everything. The e collar isn't on. We're sitting there just hovering right over it, waiting to be shot. But Bob wasn't around. So that's uh, hopefully good look. Oh, there he is right there. I don't have a shell on me. <laughs> Let's see what, uh, I'll show you guys what I got going on here. Well, I'm sitting down in my sitting spot, trying to get loaded up. You hear him? He might be coming. Lay down. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. I got something for you in here. I got a cool little setup going on here. Whew. Check it out, I have. A good little sitting spot. I'm gonna wait to turn on the e collar for a minute. In, in between two evergreens back here, I've always wanted to try it in this particular spot. And it's awesome, it completely hides Fred and I. And when I'm ready to shoot, basically all I gotta do is just kinda take one step forward and shoot. I can even shoot from back here, it's not too bad. Out in front, as you can see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 18 decoys. I didn't use all of my crow decoys because we have a really small area area we're dealing with. Uh, this is where I always put my deer corn. And uh, it's been, what, four or five months since I've put any corn out here. But the crows always seem to check this spot out most of the time. We're gonna get the old e-collar on, see if we can trick this guy. He's still over here cawing at us. So, y'all have been asking about e-collars all snow goose season. And I run the same e-collar now that I run for crows that I run for snows. Man, the Fox Pro, uh, Snow Pro Crow or whatever it's called, comes with two speakers. They have a small and a large size. And I'll tell you, the sounds that it comes with, can't beat them. So, go down to, go down to crows. And we're gonna do the crows to volume up. Come on now, come on with it. Here we go. Uh-oh, Frederick, are you ready? Uh-oh. <laughs> 
I know I'm ready. Bad thing is gonna have to keep my eyes peeled because they come out of nowhere. Oh, we got two of them. This is so awesome. I can completely hide back here. Sweet. Where'd you go, dude? Oh, right here, right here. Oh, gosh. Damn it. Heal. Heal. Oh man, we got another one. We've got probably 10 just doing giant circles around us. Come on, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. See if that helps. There's been two birds that have taken like a 45 yard look at me and it's so windy that it's going to be so hard to hit them at that range. My goodness, got another one out in front checking us out. They don't want to get too close. Didn't get him. Sit, sit. Good boy. Good. Here, heel. Come on. No bird. No bird. Good boy. Well, he didn't break. That's really good. Um, God, he was coming right at me. <sighs> right when I stood up, boy, he seen me and he was gone. He was coming so low. He was like 10 yards off the ground, just coming right at me. Well, first shot of the day, probably just scared everything away for a while. Good job not breaking, bud. I had to give him a little slap on the butt the first time he broke. He's shaped up now. Look at him. He's a happy dog. He wants a bird. That's what he wants. One down. Oh yeah. Red heel. We got one down. Woo! Barely got the camera on in time. Dead bird. Ah! Came literally out of nowhere. I turned the collar off. They're right above us. That's a good boy. Heel. Heel. Good. Oh. Now what I'm gonna do, throw that crow in the middle of the spread right there. I'm gonna put some decoys around it. Like this guy right here. Oh yeah. Now it's gonna get crazy because they're gonna see that dead crow and they're gonna go crazy on it. Guaranteed. Woo! Fred, we did it! We did it, buddy! That was awesome. That was awesome. So I got two decoys, got my dead crow. I'm gonna put him so he's real noticeable like. Oh yeah. They're gonna eat that up. I literally just turned off just turned off the e-collar and it scared me they were so loud came from the back ah, ah, ah. came right over the top that was sweet come on y'all smash the thumbs up button for frederick first of all he didn't break that's a good boy i told you i smacked i smacked his butt uh the first time i got up but didn't shoot i popped his butt no you know now look he's He's shaped back up. Good boy. Good boy. One thing about it with dogs, y'all, uh, with a hunting dog, there's a certain type of toughness and strictness, if that makes any sense, that you have to have with your dog. So they they obey the master. That's what they want to do anyways. That's what you want to do. See, I don't want to make my master mad. I want to make my master happy. That's what it's about. The bond is so awesome. But I'm sure y'all are curious what Fred and I are using today. We're using Federal Premium Ammo Hybrid, y'all. This is a, uh, see they got the pigeon on the front of it. I'm telling y'all, dove, pigeon, crow. Oh yeah, they're hammers, they're a high brass. And uh, here's the stats on them. 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1275 feet per second. Ounce and an eighth, eighth shot. 
and their beauties. I love them. Dove, pigeon, crow, anything I can shoot with lead, pheasant, honestly, they're awesome. They are hammers. Try them out. But this is Fred's spot. He knows what to do. I got him kind of tucked in underneath the seat in the shadow. Let's see if we can do it again. That was awesome. Again, we're in my backyard. I didn't have to go scout for a crow feed. I didn't have to go waste my gas. These, this is awesome. I don't care how many I shoot. This is awesome. Uh, it just goes to show. Guys, you don't have to be a professional hunter. You don't have to be the best. You don't, just go out there and try it. You know, get hid well. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do any type of bird hunting, hide well. That's, that's the main tip I, should probably start giving a lot more hide 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 <clears throat> so one really cool thing that i want to share with y'all is uh crows they're kind of like hunting geese you can hear them before you see them so being hid well you can be hid real well because you're going to hear them before you see them ducks you usually don't hear them before you see them unless it's really dark out right in the morning um and they're close but crows, what I've been doing, like the last time, I automatically seen that they didn't like no noise. Like noise gets their attention and then they'll go sit in the trees around me and then you shut it off and then that's when they get really curious. So what I've been doing is uh, this has a mute button and uh, I found a really clean track that just has a single crow going ah, 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 like this. And then I'll mute it. And then, and then I'll mute it, and then I'll wait, and I'll listen. I think it'll work. I think uh, all the noise gets their attention, but then you got to shut it off at some point, because if you can imagine, even 20 crows, and they're not making that much noise constantly. It's kind of like a snow goose e-collar. Sometimes it's too much because, in my opinion, because they're not continuously making that much noise, you know. Think about a bird coming into a live spread at any time of in, uh, any day. The noise is going to do this a lot. And honestly, in my experience, it's not as loud constantly. So, just my two cents. Me and Fred's two cents. Yeah, you're a part of this. I blame you too. Oh, we had one just go right over the top and I missed him. Where you at, buddy? I just killed the e-collar. Yep, here he is. Oh, what a jam. That was a clean shot. No bird. Sit. Good boy. Oh, that was a good shot, Bob. How did you miss him? Ah! Heel. Heel. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. That was a clean shot though. I should have hit that bird. I waited a little too long. I lost him behind this branch. I didn't know how close he was until he was right there. Ah, well, could have shot better there. And then my gun jammed, which Frederick, I don't think either way daddy was going to hit him after I missed him the first time. I should have wadded at least a wing up. All right, round, round three. Fred just heard the GoPro turn on and he opened his eyes. Oh, stretch buddy. Oh, big dog. Man, life is hard for old Frederick hunting with dad. Let me tell <laughs> Let me tell you. He loves this so much. Wanna go potty, Frederick? Wanna go potty? Huh? My big guy. God, I love my dog so much. I'm telling you. I love Fred so much. Killed me when I found out he was when he was hurt, but I'll be very honest, a lot of y'all been asking about Fred and his health and his hips. Dude, sometimes he gets so bound up at home because he doesn't hunt and run enough, he'll get so excited when I get home or get out of my truck or something, he'll just take off, start sprinting Z's and figure eights around me and wanting to play hard and run extremely hard. Guys, he is two years old and he acts like he's two years old. I, he's doing really well. He needs to hunt more and more. I mean, in my eyes, if he wants to hunt and he looks like he's feeling good, 
I'm gonna hunt him, you know? I'm gonna let him jump up and into my truck. I'm gonna let him enjoy his life. Is that a crow out there? Maybe, but I wanted to breed him so bad. I haven't talked about that either. I wanted to breed him really, really, really bad. That, that was that was my biggest dream with Fred was, man, we're gonna get to breed him and, you know, create another little business on the side, breeding Fred puppies. And um, I feel like if I bred him with his hip issue, boy, I just, that would not be good on me, you know. So, we'll do it one day, but I don't know, it probably won't be with Frederick, darn it. <laughs> oh, he was sleeping again, even with the e-collar going. Every time I turn on the GoPro, it goes beep, 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 beep. And he perks right up. Buddy, I think we're done. I don't think there's gonna be any more birds. Well, just got back home from scouting. Went looking around for them snow geese. I found probably a hundred of them, but it's the same hundred that have been here for probably, I don't know how long. They won't move off the field, but really been in my fields today. The last two days uh, with the season being gone. It's uh, all my boys are gone, the hunting's gone, the geese are gone. This was an epic season, and um, it means so much to me. Like, it's never been this bittersweet to see a season go. Um, I think when I started the YouTube channel, you know, progressively every year, it's gotten so hard to see the season go come March. Uh, but this season is like... It's so, it's like so extra special that it's hard to put words and meaning to it. Um, but um, when you love something so much, it's hard to let it go for a little bit, you know. Uh, the camaraderie in the lodge, everything in between, it's so good. Our crew is so special. We have the best help. I have the best guys. Uh, I just made an Instagram post that was like, this year I made family, not friends. Usually every season I make new friends. Well, this year I made family. And uh, Gerald, Drew, Preston, and Joe, um, they're my brothers. And uh, we're bringing on uh, more help. Bringing on Gage. Y'all have seen Gage quite a bit. He's coming on full time, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, the books are pretty much we're rebooking the rebooks right now so everybody that came last year that wants to come back we're doing that right now and then it'll open up to the public that being said uh we are giving away a two-man sand hill waterfowl hunt here at sand hill flyways uh not sand hill cranes here at sand hill flyways for two guys uh for this upcoming season we are giving that away over at the podcast i'll link it down at the top of the description below it's over on Patreon. It's only five bucks a month to uh, be a part of that podcast, and it's so entertaining. Me and P. Diddy has been putting a lot of time in the podcast, and there's a lot of good episodes to come. One of them is the reason why I don't collaborate with other duck hunting YouTube channels. Those are the types of things that we're going to be doing over there this summer. On top of that, we're not only giving away a sandhill hunt, but we're also giving away... Dun, 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 drum roll, please. A two-man Alaska waterfowl hunt with Cold Bay Adventures. My buddy Charlie over there is giving it away. It'll either be for the dates that I go. With, you'll go with me in September or it'll be for a different date in September or early October this, this coming season. So we're giving it away over on the podcast. You have to go subscribe to the podcast. Again, I'll link it down in the top of the description. Uh, Once in a lifetime hunts giving it away this will be our third hunt we're giving it away giving away uh we gave away the turkey hunt and blah 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 so thank you all for being here hope you enjoyed this little crow hunt out back just fred and i in the backyard <sighs> what are we gonna do the rest of the summer you gotta let me know down in the comments we'll see you on the next one y'all